All right, you guys. So my garage looks like a mess. But that's because we're doing some work. So this is my 2013 XJ Supercharged. And so it's uh, completely stuck, but it's pushing about 120. No, wait, um, it's about 620 from 570. So about 150 horsepower or more compared to stock um, with the ECU tuned alpha jack uh, tuning. Um, but because we're pushing more boost with the ECU tune, yes, you can push more boost with the stock pulley, but uh, just with the ECU tune, just by adjusting a few parameters. Um, but when you do push more boost, uh, the intercooler started to heat up quite a bit. And um, so the stock supercharger system, how it's set up, it's actually, this is the main radiator. And that is the supercharger radiator. And this connection here was actually connected directly to the main radiator. So at some... Um, even though a supercharged loop has its own pump, they do intermix somewhat. So just as a experiment, I do have a bypass valve there. And this is the big one. So no more stock supercharger pump. And we have now installed. Let me give you guys some lights. Now we have this nice Bosch Bosch 010 pump right there. There's the beauty. So it's a pretty straightforward install. Um, I've done this numerous numerous times on the XKRs, so we'll see how the temperatures react by separating the system installing a larger pump if we still have issues with temperature then I would keep the separated system but also install um, additional tank for the supercharger loop I think that might help quite a bit so we'll see keep you guys posted all right the beast is looking good